Good morning, it is 9.30am on Monday the 7th of October and it is time for Today in My Boo Journal. I've got to tie it up to get it out of the way, <laughs> otherwise it flops in my face and annoys me when I'm trying to work. So how are you? You alright? Or how are you? Are you alright? As Daryl would say, because he thinks that's hysterical. <laughs> I hope you've had a good evening and a good night. I'm absolutely knackered. I was up until I went to bed about half three watching the wrestling. Ooh, yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, I nearly overslept this morning as a result. So, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> what did we do? <clears throat> there was no booze, there was no fizzy, there was chips because Daryl didn't want his lunch at the party and I ate them <laughs> so there was chips I didn't craft I did about today because it was birthday parties the garden got some attention and I even managed to do my night care routine at three o'clock this morning well half three four o'clock this morning whenever it was I did that last night. Oh, excuse me. Right, so we need steps. I actually did do some stepping yesterday. It's these little messages that keep popping up that are doing my head in. And I even messaged Fitbit and said, how do I get rid of them? And um, they said, oh, you can't. So I can't actually turn them off. And it's like, well, that's just ridiculous. It really is. So I literally just fell short of 10,000. I didn't do any, I was going to clean the bathroom late last night and I didn't, <laughs> I might do it today. Get a few jobs done, I need to set up a spread for last night's wrestling, which was good, it was awesome. Everything there is ticked off, so this week is now finished and we are now into this week, I forgot to call the GP. Don't fancy going today anyway. I have so far managed some day face cream. Galena, your letter is on the way, love. I did post it yesterday, but that was a shitstorm. Uh, right. Um, card. <laughs> Do you know, that ended up being very, very on point last night. As a lot of you know, um, I kept in a Fitbit, uh, Fitbit group and... Um, a few things happened in the beginning of summer. It was decided that we would do, we would change it from five days of intense challenges to three days with two easy days, which usually just means reaching all your goals by the end of the day. And um, just for the summer. And it worked because, you know, people are busy during the summer. They don't want to be looking at their phones and their Fitbits all, all the time. And it worked quite well. And then the captains decided that they wanted to keep it that way we were doing what's known as green by noon which meant you basically had to reach your daily goal by noon for the bonus points and like a few people said well i can't up my goals because there's no way i can get more than what i'm doing i'm struggling to get that by noon and a few of us went to the owner of the group and said you know blah 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 blah. and she basically said my way or that she said no you do it my way if you don't like it create your own group and I said, so, and I actually called her out and I said, you, so you are saying your way or the highway? And she said, yes. Okay, fine. So it was in a um, discussion, you know, we sort of stepped around the idea, a few, a few of the other captains. And um, then one of the captains, and we all know who it is, went and blabbed to the owner of the group that we had set up a new group and that everybody was going to leave all our teams were going to leave because we said that they couldn't stay and go well that wasn't true we'd created the group and that it basically was just a concept at the time we hadn't done anything further on it um so there was a big hoo-ha about it and the owner flipped her shit and um <clears throat> this was a couple of weeks ago and you know a few nasty things were said and um we just said we we said amongst ourselves right okay fine we're going to do it. We're, we're going to create this group and, you know, we'll go from there. Originally, when the owner had said, create your own group, she'd said, you can even post about it on our page and I will support any new groups made. 
So I put a post up in the group last night saying we've created a new group due to these easier challenges, blah, 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 blah. I may have used the wrong terminology. I might have said the green by noon days when I actually meant the three day challenge or the two easy days or you know whatever you want to call it. That's fucking splitting hairs in my book. And um, the post was up for maybe about an hour and a half. And she removed it and she gagged me. So I was no longer no longer able to um, post on that page. This is a page that I admin, okay, um, that I moderate because I saw all the new members that come in and all of that lot. I, I welcome all the new members. I sort them into teams. I do a lot for that group. And so do the other two ladies that I'd been talking to. Um, the owner has a nice habit of disappearing without a fucking word and leaving us to run the group and then coming back like nothing's happened. No apology for going, no thank you for looking after my group or anything like that. So um, I told her exactly what I thought of her. And myself and another captain left because she said I could say I'm going, I'm taking my team and I'm taking that team with me. So I did. And we left. And um, there was a bit of slagging off going on behind my back afterwards and all this sort and then the other two ladies that were involved in the making of the new group, she kicked them out. Or the other three, she kicked them out. No, and like they said, but we've still got members that wanted to step in your group. And she's just turned around and gone, I don't care. Tough. It was just like, wow, wow. Talk about, yeah, fucking dictatorship or what. So yeah, we left and we've created a new group. So it's going to take a while to get used to knowing the, the you know, doing the new names but <clears throat> king of swords oh, getting a lot of kings a king of wands a few days ago right so i mean i don't give her monkeys do you know what i mean but i am pissed off because i helped her so did the two captains that um got kicked out last night we helped her create that group due to we left another group because of a dictatorship mentality and we didn't want that so um yeah that's why we created this new the, the the group that we've just all left and um she was like oh yeah it's not gonna be like that in our group it's not gonna be like that and it was our group our group our group now it's her group so i'm like do you know what take it fuck it we can start again we did it before we've done we, we've got three teams already and a couple of others coming in oh and 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 one captain who was all oh yeah yeah you know i'm behind you 100 percent. i'm behind you 100 percent. is now kissing up to her she's kissing her ass and we all know who she is she was the one that told the group leader that we were creating the other group because she was the only other person it could have known i hate sneak i hate sneaky and i hate lying we were up front, we, we never hid what we were doing. We were up front with them and said, we haven't created it yet. We are in discussion of creating it. And we haven't mentioned it because it's nothing more than an idea at the time. But due to her major fucking paddy about it, that was how it came to be. So yeah, that was very poignant yesterday. Everything is tense, everyone is angry. Take a breath. <laughs> I took a breath once I left. And I'm just like, you can have it, go. I just... People will see you for what you are. I couldn't believe that she gagged us all from, from our own page. So it was just like, wow. Anyway, the King of Swords. He is somebody to look up to. He knows what he's talking about. He is educated. He is strong. He's manly. Look at him. Look at him. All that testosterone. Isn't he fab? Um, he loves cats. Look, he's got a kitty. Um, the sword tells you that he's strong, that he can look after you. He can help you um the book on the table the books all around him tell you that he's an educated person or he's a knowledgeable person he knows what he's talking about possibly in more than just one field he, he might have quite a wide knowledge it's worth listening to what this person has to say is it you do you have it's not necessarily a man i mean you know I, it, it usually is but it might not be um you know do, do you are you this person do you have knowledge that you could pass on to other people or do you know somebody that might be able to help you but you're not sure about approaching them now would be the time listen to what they've got to tell you okay it could be important 
put this as a strong, knowledgeable person who can help you. Listen to them. I don't listen enough. I'm constantly being told you don't get all the facts before you go running off. Yeah, whatever. Right. You know what? I put down that I did 9,000 steps to yesterday and I didn't. I only did 8,000. I was looking at today's steps. Poo. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Right. I thought I'd clicked it and I haven't. So, 7736, which is bang on three miles on Saturday. And yesterday was 8807. Is 3.74 but like I said I stayed up late um so I oh, yeah, two hours and 53 minutes sleep uh um to watch the rest of it. so while I was watching it I was stepping so I'm already up to sort of 10,000 steps which is awesome yeah look at that four and took quarter past seven and even that was very 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 scattered so quarter past seven four o'clock the alarm went off at half six for a bit and then I dozed. And it says I had a very, very disturbed night. Oh, it's gone off. Um, uh, <laughs> Let's just do it like that, shall we? A couple of hours. It was absolutely brilliant, actually, but just not very much of it. That's fine. I took the choice to do that. Don't know how long I'll last, but there you go. I don't plan on having a nap today. I don't nap during the day if I can help it, unless I'm ill. Let's see if I can fill the bar up today. So I get points, bonus points for double steps today. So I would have to reach 24,000 steps though. So um, I've had a couple of people approach me privately about possibly doing another live on Sundays. Um, is that something you would want to see? If so, what sort of things would you like me to do? I'm more than willing to do it. Maybe not every week, maybe every other week or something, but you know, because it's freaking out things to do. I mean, I've still got to decorate this booklet um i need to make my 2020 booklet i don't know whether i'm going to dot grid that because it's just going to be planner and i was thinking i could maybe just lay the sheets out and do that but then i'm like mm, i don't know because it's an awful lot to dot grid isn't it my poor printer right where are we at loo and laundry so last night after I did my video and I was talking about the pen it turns out it's the paper because I did that without any I had maybe one instance where the pen wouldn't work quite well and I'm pretty sure it's due to the acidity of the coffee that's dyed the paper if you've if you've never touched it coffee dyed paper is very very dry and I'm thinking that that's why I'm having problems because it's drying out the nib and that's and the ink's not flowing so I think that might be why I'm having issues um I have had I, I did go and ask for opinions in the junk journal groups and was basically told do your practicing on non-dyed paper oh, well that's hardly junk journaling then is it I, I want to do it on this paper that looks good you know and it's weird that it doesn't affect my other fountain pens i don't know whether it's because i'm using a broad nib or you know or what but there you have it so we are gonna keep going and i will just suck it up and figure it out as i go now i need my stencil my pen we are on day seven of the month I was quite pleased because um, my junk journal, I posted a video in, in one of the junk journal groups and it's got like well over a hundred likes or loves or wow faces. And people were like, is that real? 
And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you made that? Yeah. <laughs> That's your first one? Yeah. And they're all like, wow. So I'm quite um, like, at people's responses, it's quite nice. Okay, so what is the weather? Whatever the weather. It's wet. That's what the weather is. It's wet. It's not pleasant today. I love that. Look at them. They're beautiful. So I'll be journaling on that page tomorrow. That'd be interesting because it'd be a smaller page. Light rain. Mm. Okay, so we've got a high of 16 and a low of 13. Sunrise was at 14 minutes past 7. I was actually up before the sun this morning. Uh and sunset will be at 6 30 pm tonight let's have a look at what the challenges are going to be apple cider for the writing lovely and a full moon hmm. okay i can do that oh um yesterday this was gouache by the way this wasn't watercolor I actually used my gouache for the first time. It went down on the tea dye paper much better than um, uh, watercolor has done. Uh, well, that was that was pen the cat. Um, it's not. It's still quite patchy looking, but that's watercolor, and that's gouache. And I could have probably made that thicker, but it didn't bleed through either, which I was quite pleased about. So yeah, I could have made it, you know, a lot thicker. So I'm going to continue to play with the gouache, I think, which would be good for the full moon tonight. Um, let's see what colours I've got. Because I'm going to want to put a little bit of grey in it. Oh, I'm going to have to make up a grey for the for the like land massy bits that you see on the moon. Although I suppose I could use watercolour with it. I might go over it with like a silver glitter to give it that sheen that, you know, you you, you embody the moon with. So, yeah. Yeah, these are all my gouache paints that I got. I need to do a card on here just to show what I've got. I might get some more, actually. Although there's quite a good mixture there. I'm just not very good at... Um, making colours up you know so the moon is is ever so slightly off white isn't it I might just do it white and then silver over it the silver sparkle over it hmm I'll think on that and then make up some but dashes of grey but black here and there I don't know what colour that is I think that's a bluey colour I'm going to need to make up a swatch sheet so I can see how well these come out. Obviously, they'll look different on the tea dye paper or the coffee dye paper, but that's okay. As long as I know initially what I'm looking for. Awesome. Awesome. Right. Okay. I will get that sketched up and we'll get on with it tonight. I don't anticipate I'll have much to journal, so I might make the moon quite big down in the corner. Let's see. Yes, I'm going to use a stencil because I'd rather stencil a circle than struggle drawing a decent one. So I could make it quite, you know, we'll put it, I might put it up there. There you go, there's the moon. <laughs> I'm going to think about how to paint it a bit later and then I'll be back. Take it easy guys and I will see you in the evening edition. So let's get on with today. Don't think I'm going to be able to stay up and watch April's stream tonight. Sorry, honey, but it, 10 o'clock is a bit late for me and I'm very tired today. Um, I didn't wear makeup. The challenges are done. Oh, no booze, one can or less. No chips. Done about today. Rain so the garden got nice and wet. 
I'm kind of a bit bummed that we went out Sunday because um, I could have got out and like mowed the lawn probably for the final time this year but we were out like all day so the lawn didn't get done which is a shame but it's about there actually don't feel in too much pain which is surprising because I've been stepping pretty much all day I have hit 25,000 steps I'm currently at 25,405 so I can go up to about there so far anyway won't be doing much more because <laughs> I'm going to bed now I started to do the cupboard doors today so I'm gonna colour in I didn't do half but I'll colour in half of it what I thought I could do is do like a door a day and then I hopefully won't get overwhelmed with it all um, let's see I did Daryl's table and the dishwasher is filled up and I've done the work tops and I've swept the floor hi sent some postcards and that's all I did I didn't do anything else so tired and that's pretty much it um, I'm now gonna hyperlapse you through a little bit of artwork that I did earlier and there you go so apple cider was the word for today there's my moon it's not very dark but then it is on tea dyed paper so you know and the word for today is tired it's eight o'clock and i'm seriously considering going to bed in a minute that's how tired i am okay so yeah that's pretty much it um i'm gonna leave that there thank you so much for joining me Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up i'd really really appreciate it uh, don't forget to leave us a comment down below if you click the book in the corner you will be subscribed and if you hit the bell that appears down below you'll be notified when i upload new content thank you so so much for joining me today i really really appreciate it and i will see you in tuesday's edition of today in my boo journal take it easy guys <laughs>